So without warning, Halo 3 PC Fighting has just been released. I've sunk in a ton of hours into this, so in this video I'm going to give you everything you need to know about the fight and how does Halo 3 play it on PC. Stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again, giving you another news informational video when it comes to Halo. If you like these kind of videos, please make sure to tap that like button so it lets me know I want to see some more content like this and it greatly helps out the channel to get more people a chance to get their eyes on this and know more about Halo 3 on PC. So as stated at the top of this video, Halo 3 PC Fighting has begun. I was invited, I streamed it a bunch on my Twitch channel so if you want to check me out, link in the description down below if you want to jump in and play some games guys if you want to. And I put in a ton of hours into this game guys and I have to tell you, it's feeling really good. But before I go into my thoughts and opinions of the experience of Halo 3 on PC, I want to give you the facts, everything you need to know about this. So we're going to go into all the content that's in it, the customization, Forge, Theater, and challenges coming in with the new features involved with this game. We also have multiplayer and campaign in here with a specific multiplayer schedule, which I have in the description down below. So if you want to know what the next day is going to be for what game modes, Check out this video, you'll know. All right guys, so let's jump into the new content here. So if you want to check out the, say, customization for Halo 3, click on the options in career. You have a new tile right here because they added in a new tile right here called Challenge Hub. We'll get into that right after we're looking at the customization. We click on customization here, Halo 3. Unlike other titles in the MCC, you can actually customize your armor to what you like, like you could in the classic days. Uh, currently in the MCC for console, you can only choose a set armor pieces for your entire body set. And so in this one you get to mix and match just like you could back in the old days. So we can click on the Spartan one, you can click on helmet, and you can see like you get all these different kind of options. Now right now they do look a little funky as they're kind of like low res textured kind of models. We had this ex same experience with uh, CE and Halo 2 during their flights. So these are definitely gonna be looking a lot better in Unreal Engine when the game finally releases. As you can see with the EVA helmet, there's like these weird black lines that are happening on it. It looks really low res, but that's going to get worked out, I guarantee it. And also currently right now, there's a weird thing happening with uh, the body pieces and other sets of armor, uh, but you can see that there's like the default body armor right here underneath That's not changing and it's only just overlaying the new armor sets uh, Weird stuff like that, but you can see we have like uh, CQB, EOD, EVA, Hayabusha You know, and then you also have just the katana itself if you want to have it separated, which is pretty cool Pretty much everything you expected to have back in the Halo 3 days you got back in here as well Same thing with the elites for some reason the elites actually pretty good and I don't know why the textures on this one look way better. But this actually looks pretty nice, but you can see that it does have the same issue where the helmets and new armor pieces just kind of overlay the default. I guarantee you this will, this will get fixed before release. Keep in mind, this is a flight test build kind of thing. So yes, this is kind of all just temporary kind of stuff, but it's going to get worked out, trust me. Now, another thing I was super excited about are the challenges. Obviously they were brought into Halo 2, but there was no UI, so you couldn't really know what to get really. And so with Halo 3 coming to PC and the MCC, uh, we're actually going to get the challenge hub, which is in the options and career. Click on challenge hub. This is what it's going to look like essentially. Now these are all just kind of basic mock-ups of different kind of challenges, but you have seasonal challenges, weekly challenges for PVP, and weekly challenges for PVE. I played a ton of PVP last night, and let me tell you guys, it was a lot of fun. So there were various challenges like get 20 kills with a power weapon, get 10 kills with a grenade, and unlock like right here, the grenade slayer. I got 15k XP just for doing that. And this will really help uh, give you guys more boosts to get through those tiers a little bit faster. I'm really hoping there's gonna be a new season to help utilize this new challenge system, but we'll see what happens with that. Uh, I really enjoy the detailed information we get out of here as well. And so like, so for example right here, the um, style medal master, earn style medals in matchmade games. You're like, well, What's a style medal? I don't know. I don't know off the top of my head. Luckily here, they do have it written out all the different kinds of medals you can receive that give you a style master medal to work your way to get to that. Once you get 25, you unlock 15K XP. So it's gonna work something like that. Uh, seasonal, we have kind of uh, different kind of challenges here. I think they're kind of varying between PVE and PVP game modes here. Uh, mainly just like long-term kind of stuff like Right here it says uh, precision weapon master uh, earn headshots kills using precision weapons right now i'm at 262 out of 500 that's after one night after playing for about four hours or something like that so 
Uh, a lot of stuff like that to kind of go through. You know, you even have uh, vehicle master challenges, uh, co-op campaign missions, so a, very, a nice variation between multiplayer and campaign for these challenges. I'm super excited about this. And once it releases on the PC, these challenges will refresh weekly, as they obviously they're weekly challenges. Uh, they will refresh with the playlist updates as well every Wednesday. So expect tips and trick videos on how to get through your challenges even faster, guys, on this channel. So make sure you subscribe to keep yourselves updated. So let's get into the Forge part of this. So here we are, guys, in Halo 3 Forge on PC. Now you're probably thinking, well, I can play Forge right now on the MCC. What's so great about it? Well, one, you get all the awesome frame rates because right now I'm getting like 200 plus frames and this is super smooth. But they actually added in a lot of features that were added in throughout the history of Forge into Halo 3's Forge as well. And I wanted to kind of go over a few of those as well because not only did we get some new objects, uh, but the main thing is, I'm uh, sure for, for a lot of your forgers, there's some new features that were added in here. So, say if I want to select this box right here, press X, and so you got a ch chance to choose your different physics with it. So you can do fixed, normal, and phased. If I remember correctly, Classic Halo 3 only has normal. And so you can choose phased, check this out. You can select this, go down, you can phase it into the ground. This is something you could not do back in Halo 3 Classic. You can only come around to doing that in Halo Reach. That is absolutely huge when it comes to forging in uh, these classic titles. Another thing here too, which is really great, check this out as well. Uh, you have, if you select the object and you press B, it brings up your option to nudge your object around too. So you can kind of choose by coordinates how much you want to move it exactly, which is absolutely huge to be able to do that in Halo 3, you couldn't do you couldn't do that previously. That is an absolutely huge feature right there to be added in. And now we also have a whole bunch of set of new options. I believe the anti-air wraith was not in the original game. Now you can spawn that in right there if you so please to. We also have a shade turret here we can drop in just lazily like that in some terrible fashion. And also on top of all the awesome building blocks that you get with the game, they actually add in some more, which is pretty freaking great. Uh, I want to show you one here that I saw earlier, like the uh, container long. This was definitely, at least to my knowledge, was not in Halo 3's Forge. So you got new things like this. This looks like something from like Halo 4 or something like that, to be honest. Uh, we also look down, we got like a fishing crate. Uh, we have a bunch of these. We got like a water crate right here as well. Just new kind of objects that you can play around with. Jump in, play around with Forge, guys. Trust me, it's a gonna be a blast. Also, much like the Halo 2 flights, we also have under the create tab, we have theater mode as well. So it just basically just keeps track of all your previous matches you were playing around with, which is pretty dang awesome. If you ask me, uh, theater mode is an absolute need feature when it comes to as content creators or people who are just trying to learn to get better at the game or anything like that. So it's super important to see this be brought back into uh, Halo 3 and we can just move around here and kind of check out. This bit, just live gameplay guys, but this is me playing the VIP with some subscribers on, uh, on my Twitch when I was playing on Twitch. So again, like follow me on Twitch if you want guys if I want to play some games. We'll lay down with that. Uh, the frames are still locked at 60 FPS for theater mode, which honestly for me doesn't bother me at all. Uh, if it was gameplay, uh, yeah, obviously that would be an issue. But uh, right now, I mean, this is pretty great. I'm liking it. Can't, can't complain about this. Um, <laughs> you know, more Halo features, the better, in my opinion. And it's just so happy to see this being brought into the PC version. It's going to be great. This is what uh, Reach missed out on. And I'm really glad that we're actually getting a chance to play this out once again. Like I said, we also have campaign missions and we also have Halo 3 play session days as well. Now you can play the flight at any time you want, but these are specific times laid out so you can try to boost the population up a little bit because these are a limited group of people you can actually play with. So each day is going to be a different play day to play with different kind of modes. A lot of playing there, but trust me, this is great. So the first day was all just team doubles and 4v4 for that. And then also the next day is going to be H3, Team ranked Team Slayer and then Social Free For All. Then you have Halo 3 Team Hardcore on the 13th, along with Social BTB. Then it kind of just rotates again, saying uh, Team Slayer for the 14th, ranked, and then Social 8v8 again. On the 15th, we have Halo 3 Team Hardcore and Social Infection Day, which is going to be pretty fun. And on the 16th, you have Team Slayer ranked, and then you have FFA Social, and they have Team Doubles ranked, and then Social 4v4. And then last day, 
of June 18th, the last day of the flight, will be Team Hardcore with Social 4v4. And I think they did a really smart move here of just not doubling down on different kind of playlists throughout the day. Generally throughout these flights, the ranked modes have been pretty much dead because everyone just wants to play the social modes mostly, that's mainly where your player base is going to be, and also uh, people don't want to wait 30 minutes to find a single match. So I think what they did a great job here is having like ranked Team Slayer available, but then having FFA, not for another 4v4 mode to kind of conflict with that. So excellent job by 343 to choose that option. I would definitely expect June 15th to be the most populated day for ranked modes for Halo 3. Team Hardcore is going to be the ranked mode and the social mode is going to be Infection, which I think will have the lowest population for social. So if you want to sweat it out, it's some H3 Hardcore. The 15th is the day to do it. Now, after putting hours and hours into the first night of playing Halo 3 on PC, how's it feel? Well, guys, not gonna lie, it feels amazing. And the most of the people I've been seeing on Twitter have been agreeing. Even the people that are kind of haters of 343 and the MCC said like, yeah, Halo 3 on PC, the way it's shipped right now, feels amazing. The unlimited frames actually works. And if you know from Halo 2 Anniversary and Halo 3, uh, Reach, that uh, the interpolation of the framing in that game just feels really framey and off. It just doesn't look good. Just cap your frames at 60 for those games. But in Halo 3, they got it to work. And my God, guys, it's so smooth. I'm getting 120 to almost 300 frames at any point in a game. And it's just buttery smooth, much like you would see for a CE on PC and Halo 2 Classic on PC. It's great, guys. You definitely want to experience it when the game fully releases on PC. Also, being able to change your FOV in Halo 3 is huge. I feel like I'm playing with like blinders on my eyes when playing Halo 3 on console because the FOV is so short and being able to play like 100 FOV, 120 FOV, just like you feel so open and free and less, so less constricted. I mean, I've even heard people saying they get motion sickness while playing Halo 3 because the field of view is so small. So everything is fine and dandy with this flight. The gameplay feels good, but yeah, there are some glitches and some bugs as well. There are some known issues, which in our next video, we'll go over the known issues for this game. So if you want to stay up to date and catch that video, make sure you subscribe to the channel guys keep yourselves updated with everything going on in the halo community news information entertainment everything in between so i really hope you enjoy the content here guys leave a like if you enjoyed the video if you miss any content for me check out the videos on the screen right now I got a link to all my news and informational videos if you've been out of the loop for the last few days or so thank you so much for watching i greatly appreciate it i'll catch you all in the next video peace out